Okay, so today let's make the sample for the separating zipper. So first of all, I need you to prepare your fabrics. So the dimension for the fabric you are going to cut, uh, you need two pieces. And the one piece is the main fabric you are using for your knitwear project. And the other one is the contrasting piece. However, the dimension for those two pieces, they are the same, okay? So the dimension should be six inches by 11 inches. Since I'm using the other side, the, the, the back side of the, the wrong side of the fabric for the main piece, so I'm cutting um, the same fabric, okay? So I need to cut one, two, three, mm. okay. So I place it on the cutting mat. I'm going to cut one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so cut six inches wide. And then cut the other piece. The other piece is for the um, contrasting, okay? So six piece, six inches, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so six inches wide here is the green line, that's a selvage direction. Here is the width, the width is six inches and the length should be um, 11 inches. So let me measure that. Okay, actually that's perfect, 11 inches, okay. Yes, 11, okay. Um, so I'm using these two. Later I'm going to make a sample with the zipper, with the zipper in between, okay. Um, so before I do that, I want to mark my fabric, okay, mark on the wrong side of the fabric. So this is my contrasting piece, so the wrong side is solid color. So I'm going to mark the seam allowance. So the seam allowance along the long edge, that's for, uh, that's the place in, for inserting the, for installing the zipper, okay. So that's five eighths. Okay, and at the hemline, the seam allowance should be um, should be one and a half inch. Okay, so one and a half inch for the hemline. So one inch half. Okay. So this point should be the end point for the separate zipper. Okay. So um, so. I have one separate zipper prepared for each of you, okay? And I'm putting those uh, zippers for you to use at the back side of the studio on that uh, brown table, okay? So each of you grab one. So if in the process of making this sample, you accidentally ruin that zipper, it's no longer usable, then it's your responsibility to get a replacement. So the zipper I'm giving to you is 11 inches long, separate, sep make sure you got separating zipper, okay? So, um, but for making that sample, as long as your zipper is, um, is longer than 10 inches, um, that should work, okay? Okay, I marked the, the contrasting piece. Now let me mark the main piece. Okay, so for the main piece, the wrong side should be here, should be this side, okay? The shiny side is the wrong side, okay? So let me mark Sima Lawrence at five eighths. The same thing, mark Sima Lawrence, uh, mark the hemline. So make sure when they sewn together, they should match. Okay, so the Sima Lawrence marking should be on this edge. Okay, 
be on this edge, okay? So one end, one and a, a half inch semi-lawrence. Okay. Okay, so now I marked my fabric, okay? On the wrong side. Um, where's my, where's my zipper? Okay, so here is my separating zipper. You can notice that the zipper is longer than the fabric. Okay, so if I match the edge of the zipper, if I match the lower edge of my zipper with the hemline marking I made, I notice that the zipper is much longer, okay? And I did that intentionally because I want to show you how to shorten the zipper, how to shorten the zipper, okay? So let's take a measurement here to see what the zipper, oh, actually I forgot to mark another Lawrence. That's a Lawrence at the top, okay? So the same 5 eighths inches as the, oh, why is it? <laughs> I should not cut it at all, okay? So let me move it to the top so you can see it. So that's 5 eighths inches similarities here. That's the top edge, okay? So same thing, 5 eighths inches similarities at the top. Okay? So here is a finished sample I did before to show you. So that's the right side, okay? You can see the 5 eighths inch similarance is here. So the stop of the zipper head should be five inches below the raw edge, okay? And for the separating zipper, we have the hemline, okay? One and a half inch below the zipper head, okay? That's the fold. That's the fold, okay? So technically later, we should do it that, okay? So in other words, actually the zipper head should be here. I did a wrong marking, so let me correct it. So one and a half inch here, and then another marking here, one and a half inch above. Okay, so after the fold of the hemline, here is where the zipper head should be. So let me do the same thing here. Okay. So later, after folding that one and a half inch, okay, the zipper should be ended, ended here. Okay, that half an inch um, overlap, okay, is for covering the zipper end, okay? Should it be like that. Can you see that? Mm, okay, so here, okay, marking here. So I have several markings here. So the raw edge here, first line is the one and a half an inch about the edge, that's the folder line for the same Lawrence. Uh, I marked another point that is one inch above the folder line and another marking here, uh, half an inch further. So when the fold is made, when the sample is made, okay, the edge of the zipper end should match with the marking here, okay? And then when it's folded, the raw edge is covered, is covering the zipper end, okay? Just like the sample here, okay? So I'm done with marking. So now I know, maybe this one is easier to see. Okay, folder line here and one inch above. Okay. Okay, this is the wrong side. So make sure that's the wrong side of the zipper. So technically it should be sandwiched here, okay. 
Okay, so, um, okay. So for making that, uh, we first need to shorten the zipper to desire the length. So if I place it on the marking, I can clearly see my need to shorten my zipper to the length here, okay? By matching the end with the top edge, okay? The same thing here on the other side, okay? Match it. Okay, so I need to shorten my zipper here. Okay, let me double check marking. So a little bit unmatching at the top. Okay, so it should be here. Okay, so before I shorten that, I need to make sure I move the zipper to a point that is lower than the marking here. And then I use my scissor. Make sure you use the paper scissor. You don't use the fabric scissor. You don't want to break it. Okay. Okay, cut it here, okay. If it's difficult to cut it through a teeth, just cut it a little bit higher, okay. The same thing here. Okay, so I shortened my zipper to the uh, edge, okay. And I want to mark the 5A similarance on my zipper, okay? And I can, since it's separate the zipper for the easy, okay, I can just put it to the end, okay? And then let me mark 5A similarance. Because all the teeth that is inside of the similarance, I want to remove them. Be careful when you pull the zipper head up because you don't want to pull the very top so you lost the zipper head, okay? So I want to pull it to the point where I made my marking to check if that's correct, okay? Okay, so all the teeth above that point, I'm going to remove them, okay? Um, I'm using, there are several tools you can use. Um, let me show you my tool. For different zipper type, so for different zipper type, you may use different tools. So for the plastic one, okay, and also for the metal one, you can use this one to pull out the teeth, okay. For those uh, plastic coil ones, those ones are easy to remove. You can actually use a scissor to cut the loops, cut the coil, and then use a tool to remove it. So. Um, I also share an online tutorial on Canvas talking about um, the steps for removing coils, for removing um, uh, the teeth. You can look at them later, okay?